Alright guys, we're going to be solving another question from the second chapter of Mechanics of Materials by Bjorn Johnson and we have a single axial load of magnitude 15 kips. So we have this force P applying at point C which is 15 kips and we have a steel rod ABC. We know that the elastic modulus is uh, 30 million PSI and we need to determine the diameter of the portion BC which the deflection of point C will be 0.05 so what we have in here we have the deflection of point c which is going to be 0.05 and we know this is coming from two different portions we're going to have the deflection of a b plus the deflection of b c and that's going to give us the 0.05 and how we're going to find the the formation or the deflection the formation in each of these two uh is the formula that we discussed over and over pl over a e and we just have to do this for each of them and we should be able to find the area for BC and after that it's easy enough to find the diameter D for the BC. So let's start with the, so if, if we just rewrite the equation we're gonna have 0 0.05 is equal to PLAB over area of AB times E it's a steel rod, so the force P and the elastic modulus is the same. And we're going to have P, this time L of BC over ABC times E. So here we can just factor P over E. And we're going to have LAB over area of the AB plus LBC over area of BC. So area of BC is unknown, but area of AB is pretty easy pi over 4 d squared so pi over 4 d we have 1.25 inches so if we just calculate this we're going to get the area based on inches squared so pi times 1.25 squared divided by 4 this is going to be 1.2272 inches squared and we just have to put this in the previous equation 0 0.05 the force p from the question we know it's 15 kips but since we have the elastic modulus in psi or pound per inch square we're just gonna convert the 15 to pounds so 15 kips is equal to 15,000 pounds elastic modulus is already pound per inch square and the length of AB from the question we know is 4 feet. So we're going to multiply that by 12 to get it in inch. Over the area that we found based on inches squared 1.2272 plus length of BC is 3 feet. So again 3 times 12 to get it in inches. Over the area of BC. And rest of this is solving this equation. So if you want to find ABC, basically have 0 0.05 times 30 10 to the 6 over 15 10 to the 3. Oh, actually, let's keep the left side as it is. So 3 times 12 over ABC will be this minus 4 times 12 over 1.2272 so let's just find the right side and after that it's pretty easy to find the abc so we're gonna have 0 0.05 times 10 to the 6 times 30 divided by 15,000 minus 48 divided by 1.2272 so 36 over ABC will be equal to 60.8894. And we just have to divide 36 by our answer. So ABC is going to be 0 0.5913 inches squared. And we know this will be equal to pi over 4 d squared and d is the diameter of the bc part and what the question is asking so d would be basically the square root of 4 times 0 0.5913 divided by 
pi. Let's see what we get. So times 4 divided by pi. Now we're just going to have the square root of that answer, which is going to be 0 0.8677 inches. And the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.